What's up, everybody? It's your friend, the neighborhood Hug Knuckles, back again with another reaction video. As always, by my side, Ha Sam. Hot Sam, and today we're coming at you with another Wish FM reaction. This one's Chris Lawrence. We wanted to get to this one yesterday, but we couldn't get videos up. Uh, he's covering Bruno Mars's Versace on the floor. This is a, uh, a little bit of a baby-making song. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a love, relax kind of song. And I feel like Chris Lawrence is going to bring a lot to it. I love his voice. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it and check I it out. Let's take our time Yup! Get it! I love his hair. Oh my gosh. I love his voice. There's no reason so high. What my feeling inside right now. Wow. So maybe this is time. <laughs> wow, he's so good. He's got a little bit of swag. Yeah. Is that DJ Robin or who's playing him? I don't know. I'd love to see DJ Robin though. It might just be a little try. Maybe. I think he might be my favorite male artist. Really? Yeah. You know, he's up there for me too. He's kind of like where Maki Pink What's well, I think his voice is better. But I think his presence isn't as good as Michael's. Yeah. I can see that. But I think his voice is the best. For this type of song, I think his voice is the best. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Bruno Mars should cover this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly bee in the background, guys. I like how he's feeling it. I know. Hey. It's one and I'm feeling. He's just cool. I know. He's got like the, I don't know, their personality to him. Can you feel it, baby? Oh, seems like you're ready for more. What? 
Get it! Get it! Yes! Damn! Woo! <laughs> like you're like, woo! <laughs> okay, so what do you mean he, it's between him and JR? Um, like as far as like that style of singing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which was it? Was it the Wish Awards? That was the first time we saw him? The yeah, Wish Awards was the sure first time we saw JR. the only time we've seen him, right? I don't know. I know he's really good though. He is. I want to see more I of like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, but I don't think we have seen <laughs> I him. I feel like we keep stumbling into like other artists that we haven't heard a lot from. Yeah. And then like I fall in love with them. Because we were just talking about Jay Kent uh, in the last video we did. If you haven't seen that, go and check that video Seriously. out. Um, but we listen to her all the time, mm -hmm. and he's another artist that, like, if you asked me, hey, who are your favorite artists on the Wish Bus, I probably wouldn't have said Chris Lawrence. Yeah. But now, after listening to this performance, I would have to say he's up there. Because yeah. normally, I would drop Mikey P, I'd drop Bogoy, I'd drop... Marcelito is more of, like, a specific performance singer. Like, I mm -hmm. wouldn't listen to Marcelito in the car. Like, if I want to hear an amazing experience, yeah. like, or, like, a crazy vocal, I'd listen to Marcelito. But as far yeah. as, like, I could just hear him singing pop songs on the radio. Exactly. You know so what I mean? I, so, and my question is, like, through all of these, these that we've reacted to, why do they do covers? Like, do they have songs of their own? There's a lot of people who do originals. Do they? Because, yeah. like, I know, like, um, we did KZTJ... Yeah. They did no, original, I'm saying there's a lot like, of people that do originals on the Wish Bus. Oh, really? We just normally Arnell. don't do reactions to them. We did do one for Arnell. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are in Tagalog, so it's yeah. like we don't do the, the videos for that unless specifically requested. Yeah, um, that is true. But, I mean, I've seen a lot of them do have original songs on here. Yeah. Um, we've done a couple that were original songs. Okay. I don't remember who all I remember doing done. a couple, too. It just, yeah. it just seems like since we do a lot of covers... I think that especially that's because of the Wish FM bus, I think they're trying to appeal to a larger audience yeah and i think that it's the same thing as a as a tv show okay not everybody can be grace vanderwall grace vanderwall on uh, america's got talent or whatever blew up with originals but everybody else gets crowd recognition and gets blown up by doing covers of covers popular of songs. songs that's how justin bieber got famous exactly. on youtube because when you make those songs you already have a lot of people that would be like oh hey i know this song yeah i like this song yeah. You do it well. I want to hear more of your other right. songs. You know what and I mean? And actually, because um, K, uh, Jay Kent did Shape of Shape You, of you that's why makes we... me want to hear some original songs of yep. hers. So. Well, and the other thing, too, the, the first thing that even got us ever uh, to react to Fourth Impact was, was Adele. Yeah. Hello. yeah. So, I mean, like, having uh, artists that do... Um, different types of think of think of Connor Maynard think of Alex Aona like all those guys we started listening to them because of covers they did of popular songs and now mm -hmm. it's like man we love them we would listen to anything they do yeah KZ KZ Royals Royals was yeah. the jam and Rolling in the Deep that's what I'm oh, saying but yeah. we only listened to those because they were big songs yeah. we knew but as soon as we got reeled in as soon as they cast it up and got yeah. us in we listened we're to bought the in one um, the, with her and her with TJ her yeah. man well, and I mean, and Todd like, Hanna was still a cover, but it wasn't yeah. one like we knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we were exactly. still open to listening to it. Yeah. So I feel like that does play into it a lot. I think that's a good reason why a lot of people do cover songs as opposed to originals. Um, also, when you think about it, a lot of these people, uh, you know, may be performers, but not everybody's a singer-songwriter. That's you true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they may be more comfortable going on here and doing the covers. Mm -hmm. I don't know, especially because sometimes the arrangements are a little bit different, yeah. things like that. I think the and people that will do originals are going to be more artistic. Yeah. So, personally, that's my opinion. I don't know yeah. if that's true. But. So, if Chris, if Chris Lawrence is not a singer-songwriter and he just likes doing covers, man, you're slaying. Just saying. Because <laughs> it's good. Even if you're good. not, you're still slaying. Yeah. Because that was awesome. Yeah. I thought it was really good. Um, and for what I've heard, uh, didn't somebody tell us Bruno Mars is part Filipino? I think somebody I think told me that. someone said something like that. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm at the Wikipedia that. Yeah. I'm at to look that up. Check in the that. I'm at to Google that. <laughs> Google that. <laughs> I don't know. All right, but let us know what you thought in the comments down below. If you like this video, click that like button. Turns blue when you touch it. Not everything does. If you want to see our future videos, give that subscribe button a hug. We'll welcome you to the fam. Thank you so much for coming and watching this performance with us. It was really good. Chris Lawrence is pretty awesome. He's so uh, good. We'll have some more videos out for you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.